I am speaking about wheels and stuff and things. Life is good. Hello! Today I want to talk you through my new range of club wheels, but first, if you're a regular on the YouTube channel, just to let you know, this is like a workshop rumblings. Any of the workshop rumblings that you see are going to be more sort of sales related to let existing customers and those thinking about buying a set of wheels from me what they're looking at. So if that's not your jam and you don't want to know about stuff that you can buy, then go and take another look at one of the other videos. They're all great. Today, I want to talk you through my new range of club wheels, which are a carefully curated bunch of excellent components, all hand-built, semi-customizable with all the options that you need, ready for the discerning road, gravel and mountain cyclist in both mountain cyclist, <laughs> ready for road, gravel and mountain biking, ready to go straight out of the box, delivered to your door as soon as I can possibly build them with these wonderful hands. They're a carefully curated collection of components that I've been using for years now and I've put them into the best possible bundle I can. So let's start from the middle. Uh, hubs, um, I've been a huge fan of Bitex hubs for years. You can find more about them on my blog um, and one of my core tenets here at Ryan Builds Wheels is transparency and you're never going to find me wherever possible rebadging stuff. I'm not going to tell you that these are Ryan Builds Wheels hubs because they're made from, they're made by Bitex and they're really good. They're they're available in six bolts, center lock, rim brake, lots of different color options. And in terms of their tech specs and flange sizes, all of that kind of techy stuff, they're very much the wheel builders hub. You'll find a whole bunch of us here in the UK building custom wheels using Bitex hubs. They're great. Uh, lots of different free hub options and the free hub internals pretty clever as well. You can find out more about that on aforementioned blogs. Spokes as standard here, sap him throughout uh, rather than the cheaper pillars sometimes used on mass manufactured wheels. Pricing is really important to me and I feel that there's a magic price point for hand built quality wheels and that's what I've attempted to hit for you each time. So for example most of the road builds are going to be using Sapim CX rays which are a superlative lightweight long fatigue life aerodynamic bladed spoke and on other wheels like the mountain bike or the gravel wheels to hit the sort of prices that you're looking at there then we've gone for a butted spoke. On the butted builds you do actually have the option of choosing your spokes because not every rider needs the same spokes so you might want to drop to the Sapim D light if you've got a particularly good line choice you're a lighter rider or you're not carrying all that much load. Most wheels on the mass market are available in black 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 or black that's a little bit boring and so with the club wheels I've given you as many options as possible. Hubs are available in a range of colors but as are your nipples so if you want to add a little bit of bling then we've got what you need lovely and um, for a limited time only get in touch until we get it on the website but we've got some uh, really nice limited edition pink double square nipples from Sapim. Uh, nipples are Sapim throughout. If you want a video recommendation you can go and listen to me waffle about nipples for 10 minutes. We might even put the uh, the video link here. We've not done that before let's try it. Rims, club rims. These are the these these are club rims. I've had to say that they're Ryan Builds Wheels club rims because whilst I know where they come from and I love them, they're also used by a bunch of other high-end builders in the UK. Uh, and out of respect for my peers, um, I've been asked not to let people know where they come from. Suffice to say, though, they're amazing, and. I need to look up some tech specs for them briefly. Rims. I could waffle at you that they are a 6066 T6 heat treated aluminium and all sorts of other stuff like that, but everyone does that. Um, and I'm not a metallurgist, so I'm not fully able to tell you why that's good. All I really care about is that the weights are good 
they've got massive fatigue lives. I don't see them fail. Um, they've got a huge pull through rate, especially on the deeper section road wheels, which are the ones that you should be buying if you're a road rider. Go deep, don't go shallow, unless you like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, over 300 kilos of force, which is pretty fucking impressive. What I do like about them are the profiles, the fact that they're tubeless ready, and despite being super tough and super strong where needed, they're also really light. So once again, the fact that a whole bunch of other people are using them uh, as their go-to rim of choice, and the fact that we as hand builders in the UK want to keep them a little secret, then um, the rims are great. And all in all, it's hard to find a better package if you ask me. I'll quickly talk you through each of the four different wheels. So we've got Rim Brake Road, Rim Brake Road's real simple. It's designed to meet that need that a lot of Rim Brake riders want for a quality pair of fast, lightweight wheels. And you've got options for either 23 or 30 mil deep rims, depending on your choice of poison. And if you're wanting them for Sunday best or climbing, they've got some super light hubs available too. All of the spoke counts can be changed, so as you can have them stripped down and super speedy, or ready for the hard knocks. Disc brake road wheels, same kind of options really. Um, center lock or six bolt if your bike takes six bolt. I do, for performance road, suggest that you go with the center lock option, um, but if you need something sturdier, go with the six bolt. All of those details on the product page. Same choice again, lightweight 25 mil deep rim, or as most riders should be seeking an aero benefit, a good quality 30 mil aero profile rim rated for riders up to 120 kilos in 32 spokes. So anyone can ride them. Gravel wheels, uh, super simple this one, 25 mil internal on both rim options, multiple hub options. Your first rim option is kind of a, a very lightweight race ready one. And then we've actually opted to go with the Kinlin RD3FT, which is 33 mil deep and tough as boots. And I think just looks pimp, um, all available in 650B and 700 to suit your gravelly needs. Mountain bike. Uh, because I am the peak of efficiency when it comes to filming marketing videos, I do not have a mountain bike wheel here on hand. But in short, uh, Bitex Boost Hubs are great. All the Boost Hubs are available in those lovely colours for a little bit of bling out on the trails. Uh, you've got whatever free hubs you need and quite a range of rim options. Anything from, again, like race ready, 25mm XC type stuff, all the way up to 36mm internal downhill bad boys. So something for everyone. Oh, hello. Rim tape comes free of charge on all builds. And because Jamie wants me to tell you about it, just to let you know that you don't pay any extra for choosing the free hub of your choice. I mean, that's pretty standard, isn't it? Anyway, the club range of wheels are a carefully curated bunch of components that I've put together to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the big brand names who are selling you, you know, sort of generic rebadge stuff, really. Uh, one of the things I'm always keen on with Ryan Builds Wheels is, is transparency and to not rebadge where possible. I'll tell you about the rims in a minute, they're pretty special. But for example, I'm never going to tell you that these hubs are my hubs because they're from Bitex, a brand that I really dig and I've been using for for years, you can find out more about that on the blog, but in short, the whole club range uses Bitex hubs throughout because they've got so many excellent options, not just these lovely anodized colors you see here on certain models, but the fact that, you know, you've got center lock for road, you've got six bolt mountain bike stuff, really well-priced lightweight boost, their rim brake road stuff is fantastic and i really dig the way that the free hub mechanism works again just go and read the blog for that but it's pretty cool so there you go that's a cheeky little intro to the new ryan builds wheels club range of wheels and this is the outro portion of the video where i say thanks for watching goodbye walk off camera and see you again another time bye sound test safe thing I am speaking about wheels and stuff and things. Life is good. <laughs>